Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project library management system and I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. The version for the JDK I am using is the JDK one, version 1.8, MySQL version is 5.6 and Tomcat version I am using the Tomcat 7 and it's a web based project that's why I am using the Tomcat. And uh, for connecting the Java JSP with MySQL I am using the MySQL J connector which you will get easily from the my, mysql.org website and you can install it and after that you will be able to connect Java JSP with MySQL right so also if you are using the NetBeans and Eclipse then you can also configure this project on the NetBeans and Eclipse but that uh, ID must have the Tomcat server on that after that it will run, uh, it will run properly Right. so let's start the project functionality so this is the home page of the project one more thing i want to uh, update you so this is the web based projects that's why for for front end development i'm using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like uh, formula additions calendar integrations getting drop down menus and many more things i have used to jquery plugins right so this is all about the technology stack which i have used to develop this project right so let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is library management system and it's a mini project, mini DBMS, web-based Java, JSP and MySQL project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. So you can see this is a simple home page. This is about project and it's about the project. If you want to change the content, you can change directly from the estimate panel. So this is the user login, means admin login from where admin will be able to log in and perform certain operations this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into database <coughs> sorry even i am not uh, sending any type of email and sms from this page right so let me log inside the system so the user id is admin and password test so once you log inside the system you will get the dashboard so this is the admin dashboard so from here admin can perform these operations admin can add the book admin can add the user admin can issue the book admin can see the user report admin can see the book report admin can see the issue book report change password and log out so let me go through one by one so this is the add user so from here add user means student so admin will be able to add any number of student from here right so any number of students admin can add from here this is add book so admin can add any number of books from here in the library and those pro those books will be saved into a database right and this is a issue book from here admin can issue the book to the students so this drop down will contain all of the students id which admin has added into the database right and this is an issue book and it will contain all of the books which admin has added into the database right and date you can see this is a date calendar plugin and description right so this is the add user means add student add book and the add issue book right so these are three forms these are reports so user reports all of the users which is available into the database will be displayed here even admin can edit from here right and admin can save the details this is a book report from where admin can edit the book reports the admin can see all of the books which is available into the library even he can edit and update it also this is a issue book report from here admin can see all of the book which has been issued to the student even from here he can add he can edit it and he can add the in return date so one more thing i want to show you this return date will be available only and only in case of edit right if you add book add issue book then the return date will not be available right so but if you see the issue book report then you will be able to get the return date here right this is a change password from where admin will be update his will be able to update his account password and he will be able to log inside the system with his updated password logout so once you click on the logout all of the session will be destroyed and none of the internal menu will be accessed even the this is the session driven header this will not be available okay it will be replaced by some other menus let me show you so if you click on the logout so you can see that there is no uh, administration menu is available but if you log inside the system the administration menu is available if you log out then no administration menu is available right so this is all about the project library management system which i have developed in java jsp and mysql and as i told you this is a mini web-based dbms java jsp and mysql 
so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies and thanks for watching our video thank you thank you very much